Hi, I'm Annabelle McLaughlin. This week, this is week one of Enhancing Nutrition Through Expanding Kids' Tastes. Today we will learn about basic food safety and learn about measuring through making a trail mix. Before you start your cooking, you need to know some basic food safety. Each year, many people get sick from food that they eat. It can cause nausea, stomach aches, and more. Severe cases can cause serious health problems and even death. Here are some easy steps to keep your family safe. One, keep things clean. Always wash your hands with warm soapy water before and after touching food. This includes when you change from working with one food to working with a different food. Make sure to use clean cooking utensils and always wash them with soap after you use them. Rinse all fruits and vegetables before you use them. Two, remember to keep raw foods to themselves. Raw meat contains bacteria that can make you sick. Don't reuse anything that has touched the raw meat until it has been washed with hot, soapy water. This includes your hands. Three, heat kills germs. Food needs to get hot and stay hot. Use a th food thermometer to, to tell if you, one food is done. You, can, you can't always tell by looking at them. Four, put food in the fridge right away. Put food, food in the fridge or freezer within two hours of after cooking or buying from the store. Never thaw foods by simply taking them out of the fridge. Thaw foods in the fridge, under water, or in the microwave. After you know food safety, you can move on to being prepared for the recipe. First, you need to dress appropriately, appropriately to cook, meaning wear an apron, closed-toed shoes, short sleeves, and tie back long hair. Next, read the recipe all the way through before starting. Recipes requ could require extra time for ingredients to marinate or cool. Finally, be prepared to get out all the ingredients and tools necessary for the recipe before starting. Now let's talk about measuring. This is a dry measuring cup. Most sets have one cup, half a cup, a third cup, and a fourth cup. Some fancier sets might have others. This is a liquid measuring cup. The measurements are written on the side so you can see how much liquid is inside. These are measuring spoons. There are teaspoons and there are tablespoons and fractions of each. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Now to start the trail mix, you will need a large bowl to mix your ingredients together. First, I will add one and a half cups of nuts. Today I am using almonds. You can choose varieties of nuts if you would like. It is important for most re recipes to measure ac accurately. You should fill the cup and then use a knife to smooth over the top flat. This is less important in trail mix, but very important in baking. sunflower seeds. And next, one cup of raisins. One cup of popped popcorn. And one cup of pretzels. If you would like, you can add half a tea, 
teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, or a pinch of nutmeg. Then you gently mix the ingredients together and you are finished. Store your finished trail mix in a sealed, co sealed container or in a Ziploc bag. It will stay fresh for a couple of weeks. Thank you for watching my video. Come back next week to learn some cooking vocabulary and learn about how to use the stove.